Houston McMiller here. Look, if you're trying to find an installment loan, but you may not have the best credit, I'm going to show you some of the best places you should look. Now, here's the thing about it. With some of these here creditors, you're able to get like two and three different products with just one hard pull, all right? Now, some of these you're going to do a prequal, but some of them you may have to do a hard pull. That being said, let's talk about them. Now, here's the thing about it. You have Reprise, okay? Now, with Reprise Financial, here's the thing about it with Reprise Financial, is that they give up to 20, from 2,500 up to 25,000, okay? 25,000. Now, here's the thing about it. With some of these lenders, they are gonna have very high interest rates, all right? But you can do uh, reprise with a uh, soft pull. Check and see if you pre-qualify with a soft pull on it. Now, here's the thing about it. Some people have applied for reprise in the past, but the thing about it, if you are self-employed, they do not accept self-employed. Okay, so now if you're doing Uber, DoorDash, and Lyft, and things of that nature, all right, what you have to do, you actually have to be a registered business and be on payroll. Now, if you need help with that, we definitely can help set that up for you, but you do have to be on payroll with them. Now, here's another thing about it so you understand. In reference to these accounts, you have to have an active checking account. You have to have an active phone number. Now, in terms of the minimum income for some of these lenders, you're going to have to be about an 800 income and up, okay? So 800 and up for us the income, all right? So that's something that you need to know, all right? Now, the next one is Cash USA. Now, Cash USA, they offer loans up to $10,000. Now, again, you can do a pre-approval on this. Now, here's the thing I want you to understand. With some of these pre-approvals, they're not going to pull on your heart, on your, excuse me, they're not going to pull on the major credit bureaus, okay? So what they're going to do, they're going to use the third-party bureaus. So they may use, like, Teletrack, okay? So like with Teletrack, if you apply for a lot, uh, loan or something like that online, they collect that data and they sell it to institutions like this, all right? So that's one of the things. Then you may have a uh, Lexus Nexus, okay? They may check Lexus Nexus as well. Again, when they do their pre-approval, they're trying to verify, make sure the information's right, make sure you're not committing identity theft. Then, of course, you have Clarity, you have Data X, and you have Factor Trust, okay? These are your main financial credit bureaus, all right? So, in terms of when you're applying for installment loans, any type of loan or something like that, even with credit cards, and they said no hard pull, this is where, excuse me, this is where they're going to go in order to check to see if you actually are who you are, okay? Now, the number one reason, I always say the number one reason most people get denied has nothing to do with the credit is because of this, the address, okay? So when they're checking these systems, if that address on the application is not matching up, then this itself can get you denied. Sometimes maybe your name, your ma name may not be matching up, but the main corporate, corporate, excuse me, is your address, all right? So just keep that in mind. So if you say, well, they didn't approve me or whether they didn't give me an explanation, it's probably because they used one of these credit bureaus and they seen that the address was not matching up with what's on the application, okay? Now, you have another one. You have net credit, okay? Now, with net credit, they offer up to $10,000 as well. Now, again, this is what confuses people because they say, well, net credit pulled my, pulled my credit, did a hard inquiry on my credit. Well, the thing about it, you do the pre-qualification. If you accept that uh, 
amount that they offer you, then yes, they're going to do a hard pull. So just keep that in mind. Some of the lenders won't do a hard pull, period, and they won't report the loan. But most of these loans will be reported on your credit file. All right. Now, you have another one. You have Max Personal Loan. Okay. Now, they go up to $25,000. Now, here's the thing about it with Max Personal Loan. Because of their flexibility and part of a, a tribal lender or whatever, uh, they have more flexibility. However, the interest rate, again, being transparent, the interest rate, you can expect a higher interest rate. And just keep in mind, all of these lenders are not operating in all 50 states. Now, that also can be a reason why you were denied, all right? Now, number five, you have op for two, okay? And they go from 300 up to 10,000. Now, the reason we like them because they are a CDFI. Interest rates, yes, they are kind of high, but they are a CDFI. And what that means is a Community Development Financial Institute. They're in the community because when there's uh, certain demographics that have a hard time getting access to loans and stuff like that, that's what they're for, okay? And so a lot of times you may have the worst credit or whatever, but they still may be able to give you a loan. Now, because the income requirement on them is usually about $500. You have to be making at least $500 for opportune, okay? So that's something that a lot of people are not aware. So that means that if you're on Social Security disability and stuff like that, then that may be a higher chance of a loan, okay? Just keep in mind, the interest rates will be higher, all right? Now, let's talk about some of these uh, other institutions. You have Connecta. Okay, so when Connecta, a uh, federal credit union, it's also a CDFI, a Community Development Financial Institute. Now, with Connecta, they offer installment loans or personal loan up to a hundred thousand dollars, up to a hundred thousand. Now, they pull Experian FICO nine. Okay, so they pull Experian FICO nine. All right. Now, here's the thing about it with Connector. Don't assume you're just going to jump right in and uh, uh, join them and then apply and get a loan or whatever. The thing about it, I always tell people, you have to really strategize the way you're going to approach them, especially when you're trying to get high dollar limits and stuff like that on a personal loan. Like I said, it's a low hanging fruit. And so what I mean by low hanging fruit is that you can have utility payments authorized users, subscriptions uh, on the file, okay? And rental payments on the file. And that would help boost up your credit score. So these are your low hanging fruit type of loans as well, all right? Whether you have good credit or bad credit, you have a higher chance with these. Again, especially when it's a FICO 9 or Vantage score type of loan, all right? So that's something you need to remember. Now, you also have B, C, you. All right. So this is Baxter Credit Union. Okay. And so the thing about it with Baxter Credit Union, the amount of the loan they usually give is up to 25000 All right. Now you have to join the Life Money You Foundation for $5. Okay. In order to uh, become a member, but they will waive that $5 for you. Okay. Now, another thing about this is that with BCU, it uses TransUnion Vantage 3. So where you go to Credit Karma, it gives you your uh, TransUnion score. This is the scoring that they will use. All right. Now, one of the things about it you have to keep in mind with BCU is non-geo restricted. So anybody can join. All right. But they will probably want to do a phone consultation with you, a phone call with you, you know, just to see in terms of your purpose of uh, the loan, why you're joining and things of that nature. So just keep that in mind. All right. Now you have another lender and that's a bond. Okay. So with a bond, they go anywhere from 2000 up to 35,000. You guys hear me talk about a bond a lot. Again, a bond 
is going to use one of these here systems in order to determine if they're going to use you. Now, Avant says the minimum credit score with them is a 580 credit score. Okay, a 580 uh, credit score. Well, most of the time they're going to use these here credit barrels to determine if they want to approve you or not. Now, again, with some of these lenders, it's all about you having a DTI, your debt to income ratio. Most of these, they're okay if you have over that 50, 55% DTI. They will still work with you or if you have high inquiries. So when I mean by high inquiries, you may have between six and eight. So you may be higher than that. And these here lenders will still work with you as well. All right. So that's the reason why I try to choose lenders uh, that offer loans, installment loans and stuff like that, that are much easier to get. I want to go back to Connecta as well as BCU for a minute because when I said about you can have two to three type of products with them, most of the time they will, uh, with one hard inquiry that they do, you can actually use that up to 90 days. So you can apply for multiple products with them. So that means once you get approved for like an installment loan, you can use that same inquiry to get approved for like a credit card as well. Also, maybe a auto loan as well, all right? So that's what I mean about two and three different type of products, all right? So that's why I said that. Now, you also have P and C. So with P and C Bank, the thing about it, they go from a thousand up to, I think it's 35,000 with them, okay? 35,000. Now, again, they use Experian FICO 9, okay? It's another low-hanging fruit. Now, again, they may be geo-restricted, meaning that everybody can't join them because they may not be in your region of the country and stuff like that. So that's the reason, uh, that's the reason it may be more of a challenge for you to actually join them, all right? So, you have number 10, that's P-S-E-C-U. Now, here's the thing about it with them. They give from 1,000 up to 20,000 on a loan, okay? That's on a loan, but you can still apply for a car loan as well as a credit card or two credit cards with them all right so they do multiples on one hard pull that's the reason a lot of people like them because once you're in and they pull your credit and they approve you for one product you can get up to three products on one hard inquiry okay so then you have pen fed okay now again pen fed they have the loans as well. Their loans go up to 50000 Now, here's the thing about it with PenFed. Most people think that because PenFed uses Equifax FICO 9 for the credit card, they use it for the uh, loans as well, but that's not true. They use Experian FICO 9 for the uh, loans. And you can double dip because you can use that same inquiry to get a credit card. And I would tell you, if I get approved for the loan, then I would go for the pen fed gold card because it's 0% interest for, I think it's uh, 15 months. 15 months and no interest. So that's the reason why I would go with pen fed as well. Okay, now you have one more, and this is uh, NASA, NASA Credit Union, Federal Credit Union, okay? Now, with NASA, Federal Credit Union is non-geo restricted as well, right? And so the personal loans go from 1000 up to 30000 right? Again, you can use that one inquiry to get multiple products. Now, here's the thing about it with NASA, they use 
Experian Vantage 4, okay? So you have TransUnion 3, and you have Vantage 4, Vantage 3 here, Vantage 4 here. So it makes it much easier for you to get funding. Now, if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off the credit, then click the link in the description. Schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.